Let's read from Revelation 12. Verse 10. Kutulo 12, verse 10. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom, meaning dominion, reign of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our believing brothers and sisters has been thrown down at last. He who accuses them and keeps bringing charge of sinful behavior against them before our God day and night. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. This is going to be very hard for me to, to preach to you. And then, uh, I pray that uh, God is going to help me to, to make you to understand this message. Uh, do not accuse anyone. Just write down, do not accuse anyone. I found that this was the best character that our Lord Jesus was having. The best character that Jesus had was not to accuse anyone. We can hear that the Bible says, devil is the accuser. Satan Devil is the one who talk about other people. Devil spend time looking for the faults. Satan mistakes to accuse the people before God. What is the meaning of accuse? Uh, to accuse is to make accuse. Make accuse. Make accuse. I think accuse according to my understanding. Is there to defend yourself. And allow someone to be judged. But what I wrote here, accuse is when you charge someone with an offense. Or someone has done something wrong. It's to blame someone. What is the reason of blaming someone when you don't blame yourself? I believe there are things that uh, we need to leave them. To God. To God for God. To God for God. Thank you, God. Because there are things that even when we are doing, there's nothing that we benefit except an applause from the people. Not from God. If you ever find that uh, what accused does? Which I want to explain to you what accused does. When you accuse someone, and then with maybe allegations, that you had or you're not sure, or you suppose. Things that you are building up. You are trying to put yourself that you are better than other people. Another thing is your your favoritism. When was the last time you accused someone you favor? You really defend. 
What really affect us not to hear from God? It's because there are people we favor. And there are people that we don't know where we put them. That's where accusations come. We normally tell the ones we favor something against the ones we don't feel. Sometimes accusations come because you want to set yourself free so that you people to look at another person. To be accused. Against. So now the Bible says that on Bible says then I heard a voice in heaven saying now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. Can you see accusation takes the authority and the power of God away? This I heard that authority power, salvation in other words we cannot talk about salvation with accusation we cannot talk about power. God's kingdom. Domino, when we are still looking at other people, we are the busy of saving them. We cannot talk about salvation. When we still have people that we need to save, and we are them. Look at this way. It says, for the accuser, did you see that? For the accuser of our believing brothers and sisters have been thrown down at last. Now I'm understanding that the reason why Jesus never accused because he he was looking at them having a heart of saving them, taking them to the kingdom. Where, where there is accusation, there's no salvation. I'm sure I'm speaking sense to you. How do you want to save someone you're accusing? How do you want to help someone you are accusing? Because remember, you have to be proved you are right. So now the Bible says, and the Lord will come to me. So now the Bible says, and the Bible says, this one is Satan, Satan, who accuses people day and night. You are parang batu melatu mulsiar, bushi mulsiar. You are parang melatu. And bringing charges, atisadi charges mawona. Before our God, day and night. Mulsi mulsiar le bushiu. When I read that scripture, I realized that. Ake balaki kuishicho wore. You know, accusing. O paramelatu. It is one of the best weapon and character that Satan is having. One of the best weapon that Satan is having. When I read this, I say, my God. And Satan is able to do that Night and day. Satan can not sleep. Satan <laughs> Well, I've read in the Bible. Did you ever read that the Bible, the Bible says Satan slept? Where Jesus slept. We have read that Jesus slept. But did you hear about Satan sleep? Satan doesn't sleep. Well, what he normally do is accusing us. And many of us now we have really we have developed Satan's character. But on the other side, we want God to entrust us with His power. Dominating. We we want to do things of God with, when we still have. 
the, the character of Satan. If, if you sleep and you accuse, and the Satan can't sleep, you might be you might be his child. And Satan You might be his child because Satan does that in fullness. You, you are trained. You are trained. So that you will be promoted to do it even in the night. Job one verse six. Job one six. Job one six. Job one six. There was a day when the sons of God, meaning angels, came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan, meaning the adversary, the accuser, also came among them. Did you hear that? Amen. The accuser, he can enter where they are sons of God. Just to accuse. Now, we, we are not surprised that there are many accusers in church. If, if Satan was able, the father of accusers was able to stand before God with the sons of God. But the, he, he could not hide his nature. You know, here the Bible says the adversary, the accuser. We might be having enemies here who stand in God's church. There was a day when they came there. He was going to accuse. Because listen to this. When he wanted to be accused, he wanted to be judged. You know, it's good to know that when you are judged by God, when you are a child of God, the judgment does not kill you. It's very good. If you might have heard when Satan was accusing Job, God says, but you can't touch it. Satan can, is having limit. Satan attacking you. You can touch your flesh. You can attack your flesh. Attack your property. Attack your property. allowed by God. But he cannot touch your soul. So whatever that is happening to you, don't worry about it. It's coming from the accusation. I want to tell you something. It's not only Satan now who accuses with also his children. His children when they are accusing you, God also say, you can do whatever you can do to this person, but you won't touch this. Person. I already told you that the accusers are here. The accusers are here. But they can't touch us. So. so the Bible shows that they are able to enter the church. They are able to speak with God. They speak in tongues. But on the other side, they say, why are you like this? You do not deserve to succeed. I was told by one man, he said this another, another place somewhere in another country. If you go there, you stand, you t whatever you say, it happens. You, you just go there and say, that one must die. And the person dies. And the person says this with reasons. That one, this must happen to that person. I, I said, same applies to what Jesus said. The worshippers now, 
Baba to me shang jono. They don't need a church only to worship. Aba toki kereke fela uyo to me isha. Even the children of Satan. Leba naba Satan. They don't need a place to to accuse you. Aba toki tulo yeba yangu yo na uyo paral namlati. Babu lela chana cheo babu lela angadi ala se singwe. But they can touch your soul. Mara mea ya ili naba kono yi kwat. Kintu ya puto kwa. Matthew 27. Verse 14. Verse 14. It says, But Jesus did not reply to him, not even to a single accusation, so that the governor was greatly astonished. Jesus was having this character. Jesus muhuao na analuona. He look at the people who are accusing Jesus. Oh, lebeleche ba chuba neba mu paramulatu. And he say he saw Jesus so calm. Abona Jesus a humuji fela. He saw Jesus not even worry. Abona Jesus li pila elo as nayo. And then what Jesus was doing, he kept quiet. Nto Jesus a idir lengu no humula fela. He was. Jesus was like, he was looking at the Philip. Jesus He looked at Pilate. He looked at them that way. He, he was standing before Pilate. But the Bible says he never answered him. Though he knew he was innocent. The Bible says Jesus did not reply to him. Bible Jesus not even to single accusation. So that the governor himself was shocked. I think to be shocked and to be astonished, we normally say it's one thing. To be shocked is when you know. You, you are like, you open your mouth. But to be astonished is when you open your mouth like, ah. But it was still open. You like, ah. And you are shocked. You are shocked. I don't know if you're hearing. I can tell you what I'm So this man opened his mouth. To extend that, he even realized his mouth is still open. In other words, in other words astonished. Is when you become shocked for a longer time. You, you open your mouth to extend that your mind now begin to read your mouth is open. So in other words, the, the thoughts that were in Pilate were too much to extend that he even said, I've never seen somebody like that. And and then, all of us we know that these people have jealousy of Jesus. He, he, he knew that Jesus will say something because he understood that they were saying this with jealousy. But still, when he was expecting your, Jesus say, Your worship. These people, they have jealousy with me. They saw me healing. I I asked them. You know, if I was Jesus, I would say, I would just say, your worship. I have a witness. Let's go and call the blind man. And we bring him here. The one who was here, who was not born. John chapter 9. And listen to what. You know, that blind man will say, I'm a witness. This man healed me. And then 
I even told these guys. My parents also, they know. So I'm surprised. They say this man. If this man die, it means these people are happy about my blindness. Can we allow these people to heal another blind man? Is then if they can do that? will agree that Jesus will die. The, you know Jesus had many witnesses. You, you don't even have a witness. You're the one who knows what happened. When people accuse you, because you know, no one believe you. Leave it to God. God will answer If you read this scripture, 1 Peter 3.16, Peter 3.16, you would understand why Jesus could not answer. Read that verse. 1 Peter 3.16, Peter 3.16, and see to it that your conscience is entirely clear. Stop there. You have ability to deal with your conscience. Read again, Mamruti. And see to it that your conscience is entirely clear. See to it that your conscience is entirely clear. In other words, your conscience can be uh, affected. Bloated. Darkened. Carry on reading. So that every time you are slandered or falsely accused, those who attack or disparage your good behavior in Christ will be shamed by their that. own words. You can hear that. You can hear that. It's when you, you clear your conscience so that when you get when you're accused what they're saying won't fall on you, it goes back to them. This is, this is back to sender. Back to sender. Listen, back to sender Back to send a prayer. We don't do it by praying against. Back to We will do it by clearing our conscience. Are you hearing that verse? Read that verse again. And see to it that your conscience is entirely clear uh -huh. so that every time you are slandered or falsely accused, those who attack or disparage your good behavior in Christ will be shamed by their own words. Did you hear that? This is the time that we clear our conscience. You are bound to be attacked. You are bound to be slandered. You are bound to be rejected. You are bound to face opposition. You are bound to face opposition. You are bound to hear things that when you look at them, they will hurt your feelings and really make you to feel like you are rejected or hated. If you read this verse, the Bible says those who attack ba, ba attacking or disparage or ba, ba wapesha, ba those who attack, those who create you what you are not. Those who 
Those who are trying to make you that you are an evil person. They will be ashamed. By their ways. Because you have clear your conscience. Listen to when your conscience is clear. Your character resembles of Christ. Christ. Check your character. Whatever you are doing outside is coming from you. This is the time that we, we as Christians, we must check what is in our hearts. Because now we know that they are children of Satan. We have to accuse you. You know, when you just hear someone speaking bad about yourself, what you have not done, don't forget that he is coming from his father. Okay. You must know that you might be hating his father. You know, you know, do you know that you you fight you are not fighting flesh and blood? You know Satan is no flesh and blood. Satan is not blood. So he can enter anyone. Anyone. That anyone will affect you. I want to give an example of concerning uh, Ishmael and Isaac. If you read about it, they say it was Ishmael who was tormenting Isaac. To extend that, the mother said no. I can't, I'm not happy about this. And then what happened? Because it's only when there's a cry of the mother, the judgment of the father, when the parents take a decision, your inheritance is guaranteed. Can you see when Ishmael was taken away? Because if he was there, he could even kill Isaac. All the things that come from his father. He could take over because he was more powerful. Whatever you are facing, is there to remove you from your inheritance house. The accusers will never leave the church. Will never leave your family. Some of them you are born with them. But the issue is their father is using them so that you lose the inheritance. Your inheritance has been guaranteed. Your inheritance has been guaranteed. So deal with your question. Clear it. Remove some things so that you are, will be able to inherit what has been prepared for you. If you hear me say amen. You know, this is telling me that before the best come, accusation will come first. Before the best come, let's say accusations will come first. Let's look at the scripture. First Timothy verse 19. 519. 5, verse 19. This was Paul telling Timothy. Timothy, you are a young pastor. Timothy, you are a young pastor. And then you will be affected by people who will come and tell you that 
the one one who's older than you is doing wrong. Don't accept. Don't accept any accusation. I wish we can do that in church. Where someone comes and says, I saw you as a priest. First Timothy 5 verse. I must not, I must not accept. Because I have to grow to be older. Listen, God doesn't want you to criticize where you are going. By doing that, you don't have your future. If you destroy where you are going, what do you go to do? You are, de- you are destroying the house where you are going to sleep. When you reach there, you know, you tell people, let's destroy that house. Now, in the night, you're going to sleep there. This is stupidity of them all. This is what we are saying. Accusations destroy where you are going. Are you hearing that? Accusations destroy where you are going. Oh, let me try to tell you this. If you are a Christian and you are criticizing other pastors, what do you want Hathen to do? <laughs> I'm just asking, what do you want Hathen to do? Do you, do you want Hathen to believe that they are Christians? Do you want, do you want Hathen also to believe you that you are, you are a Christian? Do you know that? We are not called to teach the weakness of others. We are, we are called to teach you to be like Jesus. So that you do what Jesus did. You do to above. Do you know that we are making a mistake of spending time accusing others because we are accusing our future. We are destroying our future. <laughs> if you are hearing me say, I'm hearing. We are not the same here. All right, let me give an example of what is happening in Africa. Here in our Africa, here, people they don't believe in riches. I want to tell you what is happening in Europe. And that is the reasons why in Africa we have a problem. That is why Africa Do you think South Africa doesn't have money? You, you think it's, it is saving money? There are trillions and trillions of dollars. But look at your salary. Look at your salary. Go to okay. Let's look at the. The person who just playing football in Europe. Just a football in Europe. Yeah. You will find someone. Let's say in the UK. United Kingdom. You will find someone is earning five million. Five million. Five million million pound. The pound which are five million. Per month. Per year. Per year. If you check five million pounds, how do you total five million? You find this person is any more than uh, ten million rents. You total or total that you na ifita ten by, million. Kauwe, kau kiti mi sabolo. By this person doesn't even have a certificate. Hey, you total the certificate ana aso. By by what? Kau ra bolo fail. And then you you have studied. We now we to tile. Until your eyes become brown. But you can't even earn 100,000. I will tell you why, uh, why this thing is happening. I will tell you why. Yeah, because you people in Africa, you believe in accusing each other. 
If I hire all of you here, this one want to remove this one. This one, this one want to remove. <laughs> you people here, uh, I don't know. I'm sure that's the reasons why our hairs are like this. That's why our hairs are, are, are chrome. <laughs> <laughs> we try to groom our hair. Overnight, the white man enter the company is not educated than you, but he will earn more than you. We, we are not changing. Because we normally accuse each other. Even People are hiring you, they know now. You know what they normally do? Let me call three brothers, come. I'll show you what they, they normally do this way. Come. Come three brothers. You people here, you got a job. Ne? You got a job. See, you see, the one who's giving you a job, we were looking at you like, Oh, I found what to America to my level of You know, when he goes to his friends, he look at me. I over my hotel, I owe you a new one. He's looking at you down. Lay now, level of fat. If he's wearing specs, you put them in. Ah, pretty halasu, the bear mong kong fast. You got a job. Little Tim Mary Conger? Give you five thousand. Could only for five thousand. You look at the who's this one is why this one is stupid. Five thousand. You want five thousand? Five thousand. This one is wise. Oh, Garu Talifil. I'll give you five point five. Get over five point five. Don't tell that one. Maroska Buchaola. Yeah, how will it be? This one, five point two. Five point two, you must one each. Don't tell that one. Don't tell you are any more. You are any more. When they do wrong, you must tell me. Eh? When you are working, you are looking <laughs> at their mistakes. One day, come. 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 How are they working? That one is bad. Eh? Oh, lad, each one. Yeah. Oh, we'll deal with it. Look at that. Show me how they end. Want to increase your salary? When you go, you can get it from all. It's five point two. It doesn't know it's quite to that. Ah, it's a very fit work. All. So don't tell anyone. Scabu chabat. Yes, sir. How are you working with them? When I'm very casual, I'm not. So, eh? Uh, this one seems to be like. You don't even tell them that I've increased your money because we are but we don't increase it, we just say that. Uh, so you don't tell them that I've increased your money because we are not going to pay you. So how are you working with them? Oh, that one is giving you a problem. Okay. So I'll give you salary that nobody has ever given. I'll add uh, maybe 10. So how much were you getting? I'm adding 10. You use it for transport. Better than all. Oh. Soon, soon you will hear these guys exposing each other. Oh. 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 And from there, there comes one person. Maybe because these guys are black, they bring a colored. Color. Colored? You are colored. They say, you see these guys? You're a supervisor. When I supervisor, So you'll earn three, Eh? eh? <laughs> Deal with them. You know? <laughs> so when there's a problem, tell me I've given you salary better than all. They look at what he's doing, they say, oh, let's, call, let's hire this white man. 
White man, you, do you know? What's even? These people here, there's a colored man. When I look at the three men, they're going to manage them. Manage. Manage them. Check if they are wearing the same they uniform. Must, they must have a paper where they click it. Check their time. Deal So we'll give you 10. Eh? You can tell them they are small, they are small. You understand what I'm saying? Go and deal with them. Come and tell me how they... Okay, go and sit down. How much are you going to be successful with accusations? Because accusations reveal your weakness. Be careful that you don't have weakness that you don't want to change. He who is wise will always make sure he deal with his weakness before he goes out. If not, the enemy will use the weakness to kill him. Let me give you a few scriptures to close. How many of you are learning something? Let's read Daniel 6, 24. 24. Verse 24. <clears throat> it says, The king then gave a command. In fact, I want to tell you what accusation does. Carry on. Mm -hmm. The king then gave a command, and those men who had maliciously accused Daniel mm. were brought and thrown into the den of lions. They, their children, and their wives. And before they reached the bottom of the den, those lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Daniel was among lions. Daniel and Do you want to tell me that when Daniel was thrown in silence then? Was he not afraid? Automatically there was some kind of what's going to happen to him. Emotions came up. The emotion child in Japan. The Bible says it was not Daniel who stopped lion's mouth. Ah, see Daniel, how did you read it? How did you discover It was God. It shows that when he was thrown, he would have screamed. I said, Hey! Are you? And when he hit down, how did you know? Are you ready to die? And when he hit down, how did you know? He was ready to die. The difference of Daniel and these ones who accuse him was everything that happens to him was ordained by God. Daniel was saying, all Daniel that happens to me is for good. If I'm thrown there, God will know what, I'm sure that's the will of God. But when he reached there, the Bible says God sent an angel. I want to tell you this. I want to tell you something. Daniel, Daniel. was thrown in lion's den. The angel was already there. I want to tell you that the angel knew that Daniel would be thrown. He was already there. What is it that makes Daniel to say, God send an angel? 
It's only when Daniel fall. When he rises, he sees an angel. And the angel said, Go send me. Don't be surprised why lions cannot eat. Because you are not alone. Listen, listen. That's what Jesus said. I will be with you always. You are not alone. So the moment when we know we are not alone. Whatever people can do against us, those things are not there to destroy us. Okay. Look at this. When the, the Daniel was lifted, and the angel disappeared. And the, the lions began to say, hey, Why we didn't eat him? Why we didn't eat him? And we were hungry. And they look at each other and say, I. They say, Wow. Mm. Ah. 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 It's you. 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 Why? Why? They were asking themselves. Look at each other. He he was here. here. This man was here. Why we didn't eat him? Another one look at this. You are the one who started to yeah, the one who start to attack. Why? Why who start to Broken the neck. And we who are young will come. And then I, they could not trust the older one. They began to say, Next you know what? Time. Now, yeah, no, we cannot trust you. If, if, if there anything that can be thrown us, all of us, the one who get it first is fine. <laughs> you know, they accuse us. They were expecting to hear that ah, it's finished with Daniel. Yeah, you know, you know, accusers are gossipers. That night they just say, yeah. I believe it's over with him. Yeah, that man was troubling us so much. But don't speak too much, speak low. Don't, speak to, don't raise your voice. Hey, we have worked indeed with Daniel. The job. Hey, hey, I'm giving this. Hey, oh, 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 good. Good. <laughs> Someone will be saying, I want to throw a party. I want to bring a cake. The cake that has a little bit of mushrooms. Oh, another one say, I want, I want to buy a vanilla one. They didn't know that the angel. Is with Daniel. Daniel because Daniel could not walk alone. When Daniel was going to my deal, when I listened to him, was hot to the mud. All those accusers. All of them must be thrown. All of them must be thrown. All of them must be thrown. All of them must be Oh my God, those remember the agreement of the lions. So you don't start with. When Omogula was at Toma, that Toma Nabanya says, Bible Iri, when they see them cut, Ava Bonava sat, the one who starts as a Bible or Toma, our South Sepawena, the food is here. Dijo de Fitile. So whoever can you see? Wabona. Wabba. Hey, hey. And the Bible says they broke their bones. Bible they killed them. They destroyed them. Them. And Daniel was alive. I want to tell you something. You are in a place of where you are not alone. I want to tell you something. You are in a place where 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 you are in a you will never move out. They won't know how you move out. They won't understand. They will see you. They won't even be there. To they us. won't be there because <laughs> where they think you are, <laughs> and you're going to die there. <laughs> that's where they will be. <laughs> the accusers always. <laughs> they are 
They take your place of discomfort. Always. That thing they are expecting that you will go through. It is them that they will go through. So allow them to take your place. They start by accusing. Not knowing that they are about to take your place of shame and difficulties. When they are expecting to overwhelm you, they will see you rise in a level of greatness. This is the time that you need accusers. You need accusers. Don't try to defend yourself. You need them. You know is what Jesus did. Okay, look at this. When they did everything with Jesus crucified, and the Bible says there was a seal. They put it there. It's over with this point. Everybody was talking about him. And you must know that concerning Jesus, what hated the most was not miracles. I will tell you what, why Pharisees were hated most. Concerning Jesus. It was not miracles. You know, after Jesus did miracles outside of Jerusalem, the, that week, the Palm Week, the Palm Week, that Palm Week was because the Bible says when Jesus Bible entered Jerusalem, Jerusalem, remember he was not, he was not only with Jews, he was not only with whatever. The whole people, thousands, were following him. Say Hosanna! Hosanna! They were celebrating him and to the extent that they said. No man, Christians, this they are making noise. Jesus said, this one came quite. I want to tell you that it was a problem. All the people were going to him. But what the people were going to him. That was the problem. The, problem. the Pharisees wanted to maintain people. Not understanding that Jesus was there for them all, including them. So the problem was people. You know, the first time the Bible says, someone came and he drew some people to him. Kill him. Someone came, they killed him. Now they reach a level where they say, even this one, if we can kill him. Oh, this disciples. Not knowing that on the peak of the palm, thousands, the people from... Uh, from outside but about Israel, they entered Israel, Israel, they were there. Why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about this? Jealousy is a serious problem. They put a stamp. They put soldiers. They put soldiers. They put soldiers. They put soldiers. They put but on that faithful moment, the angel descended. Those who guarded fall like angels. Because listen, there are people who are looking at you. Want to see where you live. They will fall, they will never know. And the Bible says Jesus Bible came out. Jesus came out. They Jesus never, you know, what they did was, uh, let's establish propaganda. This uh, Otherwise, we will be left, this was we are trying to get them will run away from us. Let's say the disciples came to steal him. And they pay people. You know, because, you know, 
These people were accused they normally use them. But to Baba Paragomela to Tabayo Patel, I should miss. They love to pay people to pay Barato Patel. You keep quiet. When I own a home, Scavolella, they love to pay people. Barata Kuru Patel. We still have them now. Basalion, I'll be home. They love to pay people. Barato Patel. You see? Waban? Don't talk about this. Sibolela Cachona. Let's speak. Una no Homola. Hide this information. People know that I'm an adult. Ah. But see, born in Naki, see, or few sheep will run away. Hey, you, Nancy Piakaito Chilla Mobon. Let me pay you. Eriko Patelos, come on. I have done what I have done. When I know Bolelo Rigilegi would fail. So those are Pharisees. Give a Pharisee, Banaba, accusers. Papa Milan. They love to silence. Barata Homojabato. Today I want to tell you that. Lohono Rigilibuche. Whether they pay. Whether they do another means, ever did whatever against you. Never stop your destiny. If Jesus is no longer in the tomb, even you, you don't have salvation. If Jesus is no longer in one place, he has been glorified. Even you, you will be promoted. If you are hearing me say, let's let's read it and we finish. I've got many scriptures. Maybe we need to stop there. Go and read, go and read Habakkuk. Two. From verse 9 to 11. From verse 9 to verse 11. Okay, okay just read that verse. I think I'm taking a long time now. Habakkuk 2 from verse 9 to 11. 9 to 11. It says, Ooh, meaning judgment is coming to him who obtains wicked gains for his house and think by so doing to set his nest on high that he may be rescued from the hand of evil. You have devised a shameful thing for your house by cutting off and putting an end to many peoples. So you are shining against your own life and forfeiting it. For the stone will cry out from the wall to accuse you, built in sin. And the rafter will answer it out of the woodwork. Did you hear that? You have devised a shameful thing for your house by cutting off and putting an end to many people. So you are sinning against your own life and forfeiting it. Can you hear that? You are trying to do things and stealing Whatever. Taking things of other people. By doing that, it means you have accused them. Deceiving and accusations are friends. Accusation and deceiving are friends. So what you are accusing them even your blessing will accuse you. You are bound to have a problem because you are sinning against yourself and you will forfeit your life. Always an accuser does not live long. Each and accuser does not live long. If you want to live a better life, a long life, don't accuse it. Don't accuse it. Tell them, if you want to live a better life, don't accuse it. Where people are expecting you to talk, don't you? Where you are supposed to defend yourself, don't you? Do and God of mercy will be with you. Let's read only one scripture we close. Titus 1, verse 6. Tito 1, verse 6. 
Paul was saying, Paulo Nare, you cannot be a leader when your children are not living right. If your children are being accused, if there's any accusations, if you're not living right, you offend your parents. I just want to stop there. God bless you.